नमस्कार सो लेट सॉल्व वन मोर प्रॉब्लम फ्रॉम लिमिट्स वी हैव टू इवेल्युएट लिमिट एक्स टेंडिंग टू जीरो टेन टू एक्स माइनस साइन टू एक्स डिवाइडेड बाय अगेन अ लिमिट प्रॉब्लम इन्वॉल्विंग ट्रिगोनोमेट्री सो एज यूजल विल ट्राई टू ब्रेक थिंग्स इनटू सिंपलर वंस ओके so if you are thinking that you will separate like tan 2x divided by then 1x will still remain okay so instead of thinking random stuff we can continue with our idea of trigonometry that is better so limit x tending to 0 tan 2x can be written as sin 2x divided by cos 2x minus sin 2x divided by x cube so this is limit x tending to 0 sin 2x minus sin 2x cos 2x i can take that cos 2x down after taking lcm so x cube cos 2x so this is limit x tending to 0 sin 2x i can take common in numerator inside i will get 1 minus cos 2x divided by x cube cos 2x so this is limit x tending to 0 now 1 minus cos 2x is a very basic formula 1 minus cos 2x gives you 2 sin square if there is a minus you will get sin square if there is a plus you will get cos so sin 2x into 2 sin square x divided by x cube cos 2x sin 2x by cos 2x i can write as tan 2x x cube now what i can do if there is a limit of a product i can write that as product of limits okay that is the basic uh, property of limit so i can write this as limit x tending to 0 tan 2x is there so tan 2x i have x 
cube okay so what i am doing is i am giving 1x to this tan 2x but it will also need 1 2 because 2x is there so tan 2x by x when x tending to 0 will give me 1 so right here too but you have uh, written an extra 2 so multiply you have to multiply by 1 2 because that will equalize the things up okay now multiplied by product of limit is there so limit x tending to 0 now i have this 2 sin square x so i am writing this 2 outside so i can write here only and sin square x i have already utilized 1x here so x square is left so sin square x by x square can be written as sin x by x whole square isn't it because if you will open this you will get sin square x divided by x square that is what written 2 i have already taken outside fine enough now at x tending to 0 this will become 1 at x tending to 0 this will become 1 Fine enough. Because limit you can take inside function. If you are having any sort of confusion, then let's uh, let me see how. I will simplify this. I will get four. This limit is clear to you because limit x tending to zero sine x by x tan x by x that is clear. In place of x, any angle can be there. So this limit is simplified to you first one so that is giving you one if anyhow you are having problem with the second limit so uh, then i can show you that this is square function so limit can go inside function also so this can be like this limit this is also one property of limit that limit can go inside function also sin x by x just the pen is lagging so now this thing you all are clear with that this will be 1 1 square is 1 only so finally what you are getting 4 into 1 into 1 which is 4 so the final answer of this question is four. Again, basic trigonometric result: tan as sine by cos. Then simplified one minus cos two x is two sine square x. Again simplified. Then I used first limit of product can be written as product of limit. First property. Second property is limit can go inside a function. So this was square function. So limit can go inside square function that's it so i hope you understood this i use as standard as slow as possible uh, so i hope you have would have understood this for more such question you can visit my playlist on limits uh, where i will continue uh, uploading question uh, whenever i will get uh, time for limits so that's it from my side thanks and have a nice day